YouTube family, what is going on? Thanks for tapping in. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna go over how much it actually costs me a month to charge my electrical vehicles. Now, if you're new to the EV market or you're thinking about getting an EV and you're wondering how much it's gonna cost you to charge at home, stay tuned for this video as I'm gonna actually break down my electrical bill and I'm gonna go over my charging habits. Now, with that being said, I do have two EVs. I have a Model 3 and I have a Tesla Model Y. So my electrical bill is gonna be a slightly higher but nevertheless, it's going to give you an idea. So with that being said, excuse the mess as I'm doing a little spring cleaning. Let's get to the video. All right, like I mentioned earlier, I do have two Teslas. I'm gonna go over right now um, my charging habits for each and the setup I have here. As you can see, this is the Model Y. Uh, my wife primarily drives this. She drives locally, she doesn't drive far. So we actually have this connected to the Tesla mobile uh, connected charger, uh, connected on a 120 volt like i mentioned she drives locally so we charge up to 70 percent uh, a day it's a slow charge it's not ideal but it works for for us we're trying to keep our electrical costs down which i'll go over in a minute as far as my model 3 goes we have the wall connector famous elon musk this was a referral gift uh, so this is actually a 240 and i use it to charge my model 3 I do commute about 85 miles round trip a day. All right, so another question I always get is, how much does an electrician charge to add a 240 to your garage? Well, that answer varies depending on the size of your home or if your breaker is located outside. In my case, my breaker is inside. Uh, my home is about 2,000 square feet, but I will tell you my home originally had 100 amps. We had to add an extra 100 to make the 240 work. My electrician charged me about $450, which is uh, fairly reasonable. Unless you're handy or you're qualified um, to do so, you can save yourself some money and do this yourself. Other than that, just hire an electrician. Don't shock yourself. All right, so I'm in the Model Y, and like I mentioned earlier, this is plugged into a 120 volt, and I wanna show you how slow it is. So right now I have it at 69%, and I set it for 80. It's charging now, so it's gonna take about seven hours to get to 80 percent so as you can see here it's at 117 that's probably the high we're going to charge to 80 getting 12 amps it's getting about one kilowatt an hour that is really slow so depending how far you drive this may work for you but um most likely you're going to need a 240. okay so where in my model 3 i'm going to show you the difference being plugged into a 240. so as you can see i'm at 38 percent I actually set it to charge at 80%. Uh, right off the bat, we're at 32 amps. Here's the stats. It's gonna take three hours and 25 minutes to charge to 80%. So I get about 31, 32 miles of range an hour. It's a huge difference. The Y being plugged into the 120, you get about three miles an hour. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over my electrical bill real quick. I do live in California and I don't have solar panels. So what you're seeing here is a plan that I'm under, which is called time of use. Now, these are the winter rates from October to May. And as you can see the bottom, that's what I'm paying per kilowatt. During the weekdays, I typically charge uh, between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. or after 9 p.m. because I pay 21 cents. All right, so here's my electrical bill that's due on June 8th. A whopping $368. What? As you can see, your cost varies by time of day, which I went over already. So here we go. Mid peak, I used about 213 kilowatts at 50 cents. The total cost is $105. But that's mostly due to air conditioning and laundry. Off peak, 705 kilowatts, which is after 9 p.m. at 20 cents. And the total cost is $141. I could easily tell this is due to my Model 3, which I mostly charge after 9 p.m. Sometimes I charge the Model Y, but mostly it's the Model 3. Super off-peak, 424 kilowatts at 20 cents. Uh, the total charges at $85. So we mostly charge my Model Y, my wife's car, during those hours of 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So that's the actual breakdown. All right, so here's a breakdown of what it costs to charge my Model 3 at my home over the last month. Now, Tesla has a great feature within this app called Charge Stats, and you pretty much link up your electrical bill to the app, and it'll give you a complete breakdown of what you incurred over the last month. So here we have 
Over the last month, I spent $85 uh, charging a total of 428 kilowatts at my house. So you can see here, I charge 100% at home and it even gives you a daily breakdown of how much you spent uh, over the month, which is pretty cool. Also shows you uh, the savings in gas, your average cost, the time of use, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I mostly charge uh, after 9 p.m., which is mid-peak, 94%. So let's, uh, let me show you what the Model Y costs. So here's the breakdown for our charges for the Model Y over the last 31 days. Total charge, 463 kilowatts, total spend $45. We did do a road trip and spend some time with family. And also our vehicle was in service for about good 10 days. So that's why you see these gaps here. Um, all in all, we spent $45 throughout the month. We saved $205 in gas. The average cost was 14 cents at home. Now we did just uh, recently get an increase uh, as far as electrical rates go. Now we're paying 21 cents. So that's a breakdown between the Model 3 and the Model Y. Tesla does a very good job uh, as far as in the app, breaking down the charges, as you can see. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this video. Hopefully this video was helpful to some of you guys out there, and it gives you an idea how much it costs to charge an EV at home. As you can see, my bill was at $368, but $130 of it was due to my two uh, Teslas. So other than that, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, share this video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until the next one, work hard, but play harder. Peace.